Um, so one question that I had since now, as we know, there is a lot of contradiction between general relativity and quantum mechanics, which is solved by theory of everything as predicted. And string theory is supposed to be a theory of everything. But uh, string theory, as it states, that matter at its most fundamental and elementary level is made up of vibrations of strings. That is, even electrons and quarks are uh, kind of, they're not point particles, instead they're vibrations of different kinds of strings. But so I wanted to know that how this approach of taking these point particles as a strings can solve the problem between general relativity and quantum mechanics. Okay, so uh, good question. So essentially what, what happens is, uh, so first you have to understand why there is a problem. I mean, uh, so uh, then you can understand how it resolves the, I mean, string, how string theory resolves the issue. So do you have any idea why there is a problem? Uh, uh, so actually, uh, if we look at the equations of quantum mechanics and general yeah. relativity, so there is a lot of conflict between them. Like, so say for example, General relativity states that presence of matter and energy in the fabric of space-time curves the fabric of space-time. But according to quantum mechanics, even empty space isn't empty. So there are some kind of pairs of particles and antiparticles that are present even in vacuum. So that must curve the fabric of space-time. So since it is everywhere, so the fabric of space-time should be infinitely curved, which is obviously contradictory to our everyday life. So there are a lot of pro problems this way. Yes. So, okay. So, this is one aspect of this. And uh, so, essentially what, so quantum mechanics governs, so both of them, you can think that uh, in like, uh, when you study Newtonian mechanics, for example, you study it like, uh, uh, so Newton's law tell you if you throw a particle, what will be its trajectory, uh, right? Yes, uh, so, so that is in the classical regime. But now when you go at a very high speed, you know that, okay, you, uh, uh, special relativity takes over. Uh, and if you consider very small uh, particle size, then so you that's know, quantum, quantum mechanics. mechanics takes over. So, but both of these, I mean, either, okay, general, general relativity describes the uh, nature of this 